In today's daily health, doctors say that an experimental brain tumor treatment could help with a rare and very aggressive form of pediatric brain cancer. In an early stage clinical trial, the therapy nearly doubled the expected survival time of young patients. But experts caution that more research is still needed. Here's NBC News medical fellow, Dr. Akshay Saya. At six years old, Gavin is full of energy. There you go. But just four years ago, his parents Ashley and Nate Nielsen felt something was off. It looked like his eye was like drifting inward at the time. After going in for an exam, their doctor rushed him for a head MRI, which confirmed the worst. I was speechless. I was just like, uh, you know, we did all the right stuff. Um, like, the, how is this possible? Gavin had an incurable brain tumor. The Nielsen say the next question, almost impossible for them to ask. I couldn't even get the words out and I choked out, like, how long? And he goes, so on average, it's about eight to 11 months, and that's with radiation. My stomach, my heart dropped. He was diagnosed with diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma, or DIPG, the most deadly and fastest growing brain cancer in kids. It affects several hundred children each year in the US. Because it mixes with a lot of critical nerves, it's not a place a surgeon can go in and take it out. How long can these kids expect to live? It's extremely rare to have a child survive to two years. It's probably less than 5% of the kids we take care of. Wow. But we haven't had a treatment that's really changed survival. But now, new hope. Dr. Nick Vitanza has been with Gavin since day one. He's a pediatric oncologist at Seattle Children's Hospital leading a study giving children with DIPG superpowered cells that try to fight the disease. So our clinical trials have focused on something called CAR T-cells. It takes cells already in our body, called T-cells, and trains them to attack the cancer. The FDA has already approved CAR-T therapy to treat certain types of blood cancers, including leukemia and lymphoma. Once we have those out of the body, not an amount a kid would miss, then we can engineer them. Which happens right here at his lab. And in this case, it's literally going in the brain. And overall, their survival has been about 20 months, with three of those children still alive. But a larger phase two study will be launching around the country later this year. Gavin started treatment when he was two years old and just celebrated his sixth birthday with very little evidence of cancer in his brain. This is a child that has a universally fatal brain tumor who otherwise wouldn't have had any options to extend his life. Now full of life, Gavin will continue to receive infusions twice a month. As a parent, you don't want to watch your kid grow and, and leave, but I want that for him. I want to see him get old enough where he leaves the house. Now this was an early phase one study, meaning doctors are mainly looking to make sure the treatment is safe. But a larger phase two trial will be launching later this year to give a better sense of how this might work for kids just like Gavin. I mean, Guys? beautiful to see how he's doing, though. Years added to his life and to this family. It represents hope in a way they probably never even imagined would have been possible. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Thank Akshay Sile, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.